What's going on guys, it's your boy Zon coming at you with a new YouTube video. Now in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be teaching you how to connect your controller to Rust. It's very simple, hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, let's get right into it. Now the first thing you will want to do is you will need a controller of any sort, PS4, Xbox One, 360. Um, I use a 360 scuff because that's just what I prefer. First step is you turn it on. Now, since I have a wireless controller, I have a wireless receiver, which is not too expensive. I'll check the link in the description. You'll uh, see a link to that. Very simple. It's not even that hard to set up. Now, the first thing you do is you load up Steam. Now, the second thing is you go into big picture mode. If you don't know what big picture mode is, it's kind of loud in the beginning. But yeah, like I said, make sure your controller is on. Um, if it's not connecting already, okay, then you need to go to settings controller settings and make sure you have which one selected that you know corresponds with your controller so if you're using xbox controller make sure you have xbox selected playstation make sure you have playstation selected and etc then you go into library you load up rust now this is where it gets a little tricky it's not really that tricky but you go to manage game controller configuration now since you don't have a normal config, you won't have any of this. You go to uh, browse configs. You can go to community and there will be hundreds of controller configs that are already laid out. You can just select any of them, go through them and select uh, which one you prefer, edit it to your liking. That's what I've done. Now, once you've done that, you get everything set the right way. Control configuration, make sure everything's working properly. Very simple, you just uh, load up the game. Now to show you guys that this is not bullshit, you literally, I have a controller overlay so you can see what I'm moving when I'm moving it. As you can see, I'm using the controller. Like I said, it's a little tricky, um, but once you get your layout that you want, it's pretty simple. Um, but I have some more clips I will put into the video to show you guys uh, what I, I've messed around with it for like an hour and a half, but this is what I have right now. As you can see on the controller, when I do the spray, you can't control it. The reason being is because your sensitivity isn't set up correctly. Now I have found that this sensitivity works great for the controller. When your aim and sense 0.5, okay? and the overall sense is 0 0.45 but you could set whatever you want so this the 45 will be your um hip fire sensitivity and the uh, right sense is your aim in sensitivity so once this is set it's a lot easier to control the spray as you can see i'm not great i'm not great at it at all I'll be putting this command in the uh, description if you want to uh, use mine. It's really all preference. You can mess around with it, do whatever you want. It's basically, yeah, that's how you use the controller on Rust. It's okay. I mean, there's no aim assist or anything like that, so it's not like, overpowered. But I mean, you can you can get this you can get the hang of the spray pretty quickly. I mean, I spent like an hour messing around with it. I actually did a stream where you can check my Twitch in the description. You can go check out that router my whatever my future stream very simple not too difficult and uh yeah go check these clips out oh okay it's like what the fuck oh. getting better i see You're clipping that shit oh. homie i'm actually uh -huh. beaming though 